familiarity that you need to have, uh, unless you can just straight up better player him, right? Right. If you can't just straight up better player him, then you're gonna get some rude awakenings that like you, like you go past me knew how to do this, and you have to like go back into your into your your mind palace, into the library, and go ah yes, this is what you do. Yeah, you gotta so. gotta go back in time for a bit. And I'll, I'll say like a lot of there. Okay, I won't say a lot, but there's a fair number of players from New York. Uh, most notably is um, is a player we had mentioned earlier, uh, Alan Jen. Who it's like after you get used to how numbers plays mm -hmm. just for a little bit you really start to see the layers and the depth to it and if you meet him in that game state it becomes a lot of fun yes because you're both just like constantly playing at this weird different version of rock paper scissors yep uh so you know it, it's gonna be it, uh, i'm curious if like if the other thing that, that also kind of works against John for like the analogy that I'm putting together is that you don't really see much Wii Fit trainer, right? Yeah. So like you. your muscle memory of what you think the Wii Fit matchup is if you play in New York is John, right? So Ooh, the pickup. love that. Going a little bit deep, reading uh, like the air stall from the, the header and just being like, <laughs> all right, stand perfectly still there, die. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, what because like what other Wii Fits are there? Uh, like in the northeast, like or in general, it's like you have the there's a one from like MDVA, Oolong, I think is yeah. The there's name. Oolong. And there's, there's like one on the west coast whose name Varun, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, but they play so different. Yeah. Than yeah. They play like infinitely different. Right. And, and again, because of like how far the distance is, right? Like, it's gonna be pretty rare that you'll have matchup experience between more than one of them. Yeah. Right? So, like, your interpretation to the Wii Fit matchup is through Juan Numeros. And I know John doesn't like Falco. Like, I mean, when you're on the receiving end, who does? Fair. Um, so, it's, like, there's something to be said about, like, numbers getting back into shape when it comes to, like, playing against Tilde's Falco, especially with given how much uh, Tilde's availability with uh, just, like, using lasers. But... Certainly tough. I'm being, I'm being joined. Someone is joining me. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm sorry. I thought uh, Snivy was still here, and then you had a closer. That's all right. I'm just chilling. I would have done the whole thing solo if you need me. Yeah, yeah. that's all good. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Oh, yeah. Finding the neutral getup with that four tilt. Classic numbers. All right, we have Jonathan Numeral Integers versus Tilde. Yeah. who got sent to losers by Fawn for the first time. She said that was her first time ever beating him in bracket. Wow. All right. I, I could see that just because... W to Fawn, for sure. Tilde I mean, is a very, I would say, a national threat player. And also, Falco is just a very bad matchup for her character. Yeah, it forces you to get into very... It forces a lot of these more uh, zoning or setup-based characters like duck hunt or mm -hmm. in general just like weirder characters like duck hunt or we fit even to just like you yeah, gotta no. you gotta respect something you gotta respect something that near constantly so doing your normal game plan is never available mm -hmm. never consistently available i should say now tilde playing at full screen it, at these percentages is not something that i'm expecting to see wow oh johnny boy just do a good stretch Game one going to John Numbers. Yeah, remember, winner of this plays Fawn. Winner of that plays Carflow. Throw is pondering. He's considering. Small battle. Thinking real hard, let me tell you. And hydrating. Always Very important. I made sure to go to the nearby convenience store because it's New York and there's one on every corner. You know the ones left that hydrate. haven't been the ones left that haven't been turned to smoke shops. God, yes. God help us. I mean the smoke shops are gonna be going down again. Good. Because uh, there's finally like. No, no offense to their clientele, yeah. but yeah, I, I just kind of want I just kind of want a nice deli sandwich. That's uh, all. Yeah. There's still plenty of those. I feel like. Not as not as much as there used to no, be. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. True. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic Beam is totally right. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> help. It's no. correct, but I feel like, oh yeah. man, I have to travel two blocks for deadly, not one. Yeah. Damn. I just want, I just want, I just want a bacon, egg, and cheese. That's we were, all I'm saying. We were in a weird like 
legalization gray zone because like it was like it's it's legal now, but like because there weren't like super official ways, you didn't necessarily like there was like some licensing thing right. yeah. happening, and so now there are. So now a lot of stores are not going to remain open. <laughs> it's like you've probably seen them start closing a yeah, lot yeah, recently. I've, I've seen some uh, uh, some of the graffiti go up. Yeah. Rest in peace. Checks notes. Uh, Weed World, <laughs> the truck, excellent. Uh, uh, time Center, uh, Times Square. Oh, wait, I kind of like. That oh yeah, truck, the, all, all of those are definitely going down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Faith Time Center. I mean, Joe Day's definitely down. He goes. That's a little the, bit. Of, the crowd have a little, vocal pop. What a pop off. I mean, reversal down airs is something that we fit especially is very good at. We fit down air is a crazy button sometimes. I, I, I respect the hell out of that. Unfortunately. Yeah. Phantasm is a very weak spike, all things considered. Yeah, you need to catch people like, out of their jump in order for Phantasm to really ha pose a lot of threat. Another full hop out of danger, but the drag down border is there for numbers. The Phantasm gets away, looking for some of these forward airs. Just like threatening space. Mm -hmm. It's like such a different way of playing. And like Devin and I were talking just a little earlier, like playing against numbers is a very different RPS. Oh, because yes. if you're gonna try and like use space and use your uh, like stage control as a way to threaten, numbers is typically yeah, not like going to here. care about that. Numbers is so comfortable in the corner. It's like, look, he's just gonna like he's gonna chill here. It's like I don't need stage control. I need you to do something about me playing off stage. And you know what? Tilde did a pretty damn good job of it. Did a nice, nice, quick and dirty thirty percent. But is it enough? Perhaps. For chance, applying that up close pressure, but the roll through gets by the up throw into just the neutral air. It's gonna even up the game though. Tilde, hunting. Beware that frame one reflector. Beware. Okay, it's always it's allowing Tilde to play ledge trapping like that, somewhat more consistently because he doesn't have to worry about header. He doesn't have to worry about Sun Sal like throwing him off unless he gets really blindsided by it. He can always play at his normal ledge trapping spacings. If I know Johnny Boy like I think I do, he's waiting for Ooh, he's waiting for an opportune time where he'll least expect him to throw anything out, and then whoop, point blank, perish. Numbers trying to win this over Tilde and get a 2-0 into Fawn, a player who he's played time after time after time after time. Final stock of peace. One could argue it's the new classic. It used to be John Numbers and Sinji every yeah. week. They've played like 200 times. N numbers and fawn, I mean. I was about to say, I still have, I still have the Nebulous VODs. Yeah. Oh, baby. I, I mean, both of them. Have. Like they, The amount they have played oh. in Ultimate, especially, is, is, is absurd. But numbers is that, is that on the rest of us who, you know, should be just getting better to make sure they, that they don't meet by knocking them out of bracket? That's Probably. always true. Yes. Always. Probably. Yes. Yeah. Like, the answer to most, like, if you have bracket problems, either with players reaching each other too frequently, uh, just win. Be <laughs> become the solution. Be yeah. the change you want to see in the world. I can say that because I'm semi-retarded. This is a... I'm a commentator. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> hey, man, I still enter locals. That's yeah. how, like, most commentators don't, can't even say that. Yeah. <laughs> I do when the mood strikes me. Oh, Lord! Oh, we're trying to chase. Going <gasps> up. Is he going to keep going? Maybe for the drop zone there does so, but the I delay. like the way oh, oh. Oh. Is he going to see the chase? No. Dash attack? No. Instead, it's a reversal from Tilde. I was betting a run up down tilt. I'm pretty sure that hits under ledge. I want Tilde to take this game because I want another game of this. I, I oh, miss I miss the spacing, man. Oh, bye. <laughs> but nope. It's you you see what you asked for? I, uh, yeah. I commentate. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I blessed John. I cursed. Jonathan Numel enters. Does it, it again? It's it's something that John is just so good at, where he is so ready, able, and willing to throw out a off-tempo tilt whenever he's landing. Mm -hmm. And in this one, especially, uh, or the final stock, rather, it'll it'll get here eventually. 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 Bro, how are people not rooting for John Numbers L? <laughs> <laughs> they want to see change. I forgot to have. Uh, you're good. All right, because like the, the the mystery of John always is because he's playing so much in the corner. You get these positions where mm -hmm. like John is doing something rather standard, but you just 
haven't accrued this information. And in this case, it's a falling up air. And he's covering this jump space. Okay, let me let me use this. He's covering this jump space. If I if I were totally yeah, right there, it. I might have tried yeah. to fair myself. So suddenly you're in a position where you don't have the information of oh John's covering jump and then I'm going to play out a shield against him because you're always expecting John to like disengage and maintain space. But, but no, like this is just like. An and then he tried to either shield grab or yeah. jump away. Yeah, like he, he just wasn't. Maybe even up tilt. He was just not prepared for 